Hey, welcome to an episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. So I was at the beer store right down the road from me, or the beer museum as I like to call it, and they had all these variants from Bourbon County from the last, going all the way back to like 2019, and they were only like $15 a bottle. So I grabbed a bottle of this, a uh, Bourbon County brand cherry wood stout, stout aged in bourbon barrels and finish with cherry wood from 2021. Take a look at the back. Not much on here, although we, we know it's 14.2 BB. So let's get it into the tulip glass. And no surprise here, it is a inky black, very dark beer. Actually, I'd call it like a super dark brown rather than super dark black. Um, you know, you get a foamy, you know, pretty dark brown uh, foam on there. Um, I wanted to show you the uh, the website. They still have, like, if you go in the archives, you can see the description. So they say, uh, we took wood complexities to another level by doing something we've never done before. We took fully matured Bourbon County and finished it with toasted fruit wood, specifically honeycomb shaped cherry wood chips. The versatility of cherry wood and honeycomb shape allowed for maximum flavor extraction, revealing complex characteristics like red fruit, ripe cherry, and light toffee, which are not found in the original oak barrel itself. The result is an amazing elevation and notable difference from our original Bourbon County Stout. And it says 14.2 on the website. I thought it said 14. Okay, never mind. I thought it said 14.3 in the bottle. But anyway, let's dive in here. Um, well, maybe they just incepted it into my head or, you know, it, I will say I do get a cherry kind of aroma here, but I also got cherry off the maple wood from Boulevard the other day. Um, yeah, I mean, this smells very similar to most Bourbon County, uh, or, you know, any Bourbon Barrel Age beer. So big Imperial Stout, big dark fruits, um. I will say, like, no alcohol presence whatsoever, which is really interesting because this is over 14%. Uh, maybe a vanilla note or something. Uh, although, I mean, you tend to get, you know, vanilla and wood from the bourbon character. Although, I will say, like, I'm not really getting anything off of here that, like, say I was just, somebody handed this to me and said it's Bourbon County. Like, going off the aroma itself... I probably wouldn't think that this is some kind of variant. Like, it doesn't strike me as coffee or biscotti or something like that. But, yeah, it just, it smells like pretty standard um, Bourbon County, which is good, <laughs> you know. All right, so let's dive in here. Cheers. Hmm. Hmm. I will say this is not quite as sweet as a fresh vintage. Um, not quite as fruity either. It does have the the you know the standard you know dark fruit, cherry plum, probably fig, date, raisin stuff like that. Yeah, so I'm I'm getting dark fruits. I mean, it doesn't strike me as being any more cherry flavored than like a standard bourbon county because i you know i tend to get a cherry note off of a regular bourbon county and it's just it's something that just comes from all that massive amount of malt i will say i do not get um like roasted notes no roasted malt no coffee there is you only know, mentioned toffee in the description here there's like maybe a little toffee maybe a little caramel in the aftertaste I'm getting like a, yeah, like a real woody, like it's a different uh, kind of wood flavor. I mean, they say, you know, the, the cherry wood chips. So, um, yeah, it does have like a, it's, it's just, it's a different wood flavor than you would get off of just standard bourbon barrels. Speaking of which, I'm not really getting a whole lot of bourbon either. Um, I gotta say, you know, this is actually a little disappointing. I think that this has been, you know, stored pretty cold for the last, you know, year and a half, or at least a year or so. But um, what did storing this for so long gain? The only thing I can think of is that the alcohol really mellowed out. I mean. Bourbon County, as it is, is, you know, it's a pretty tame alcohol, even, you know, big beer at 14%. Uh, 
Um, so you're going to get a lot of warming sensation. I, I'm, I'm not really getting that on this one. This strikes me as being closer to like 10. What's also nice is that because it's not super sweet, it's not cloying. So I can actually drink this in, you know, bigger sips. A lot of times a fresh bourbon county or any real strong uh, beer for that matter is like a total sipper just because it's like it's so intense. But this one, I'm, I mean, I'm not going to say it's mild or anything. It's certainly not mild. It's just, it's not, you know, the punch in the face that fresh bourbon county is. I do like the, uh, you can see the alcohol legs on the glass there. Even, especially when I swirl it up, yeah. Looks almost like, um, like iodine or something. Possible. You can see kind of the bottle, it is a very dark brown. Not, not like the, uh, spent motor oil that, <laughs> that a lot of times, uh, this beer is. It, yeah. So we got the nice, uh, you know, brown, light brown foam on there. You can even see uh, the way that the, the lace sticks to the glass. That's the alcohol. Yeah, I will say I do get like kind of like a toffee or um, butterscotch kind of flavor, but again, it is not super sweet. The uh, the Boulevard Maple Mood that I had the other day that was much sweeter than this beer. This is striking me as you know like a solid, well crafted, you know bourbon barrel aged, um, imp you know big imperial stout. Um, but if you're, I, I, I just think that this beer, this bottle was probably better, you know, the day that it went on sale, not so much a year and a half later or I forgot to mention mouthfeel, obviously full bodied, smooth, soft texture, carbonation, medium low. Uh, I would not describe it as being syrupy or sticky. Um, the alcohol is, like I said, very clean, not not burning at all. In fact, it's only a minor, minor warmth. So I'm not going to have any problem drinking this by myself. All right, so how to score the Cherrywood Bourbon County 2021 vintage. I'm going to go three out of half, three and a half out of five, like a seven out of ten for the 2021 Cherrywood Bourbon County variant. Um, although I will say the price was right. I mean, it was only fifteen ninety nine for this bottle compared to like what thirty, you know, use what it usually is. So, you know, good deal on that. All right. So if you watch all the way in, you're awesome. Check out my Instagram, Facebook, Untapped, all that stuff, and I will see you guys next time. Cheers. <laughs>